Just got a need among all people to go to say that he shall take the children of Israel and scatter them among all people. We try to identify when is it that we have been discontinued from our heritage. Our heritage is our laws, our customs, our governance. When were we discontinued? God said we shall be scattered among all people. Read on. From the one end of the earth, from one end of the earth, even unto the other, even to the next. So every country, every place was a Pacific people taken. A Pacific people were taken and scattered to the four corners of the earth. Read on. And here, thou shalt serve other gods. And wherever we are scattered, God is saying we shall serve other gods. Meaning our belief system will not be the same as what we had previously. My sister, can I ask you a question? What does Christ look like according to the Bible? What does Christ look like according to the Bible? Who is a sister? Are you Jamaican? I see you got Jamaican flag on the back. Are you Jamaican? When this person became a Jamaican, read on. God said you shall be scattered to the four corners of the earth. I dare. Thou shalt serve other gods. And there we shall serve other gods. Let's Wherever see. we go, we will have a belief system given to us. Read on. Which neither thou nor thy father have known. Which neither us nor our fathers have known. So what is it that our fathers have known? What is it that our fathers have known? Deuteronomy chapter 6. What is it that our fathers have known that they pass on to the children? God said when we go into captivity, we will serve other gods which we did us that our fathers have known. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 4. Of these are the commandments. These are the what? The commandments. Read on. The statutes. The commandments and the statutes. And the judgment. And the judgments. Which the God has given us laws. So which become statues which no man can change except God himself change it. And when you violate God's instruction, there will be a judgment. Read. Which the Lord God commanded to teach you. So God has given us these commandments, the laws, and spoken about the judgments. He commanded us to teach, to teach. Read on. To teach you. That ye might do them. That ye might do what? That ye might do them. God has given us instructions in the Bible to follow. God did not give us for over. God did not give us man-made instructions. God did not say a man can do it a man. God gave us laws. Because the laws said it's not right for two men to be together. God gave us marriage, not fornication. Right. God has given us the commandment. He said, teach them to your children so that they may do them. Exactly. Read on. Now you might do them. Read on. Can I ask a question? What does Jesus look like according to the Bible system? What's going on, big brother? We can ask you a question. What does Christ look like according to the Bible? What race is this Christ? Who is this? Who is this person? God. So my brother says this is God. We are showing this is God from the Bible. Let's listen up here. Revelation chapter 1. We're going to go straight to 1. Listen up here, my brother. Listen carefully. He said this is God, right? So keep your eyes on this. Let's see if this is from the Bible. Read. The book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The Bible is saying this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. So you said this is God, right? So first we say God and Jesus are the same person. But we're going to show you that Jesus and God are the same person. Great. Great God. You fight for him. So God gives the revelation to Jesus. So let's see what Jesus looks like. Verse 14. His head. And his hair. So let's see. Now it says Jesus' head. And the hair on his head. Or what? Like, well, it was white. Yeah, it was white and like wool. So 
because we have white here, I forget that book. You guys white here? Up here? Where is it? Right here? Right, that's bullying. So you has bullying texture here. So your hair is bullying texture. Alright? So let's continue to see. Yes, the description of Jesus. And his feet like unto fine brass. So Jesus and Christ's feet look like brass. Brass is a color of brown. It derives from brown. So Christ's feet look brownish. Read on. As if they're burned in a furnace. As if it is burned. Like my sister said, I am black history. So we see that Jesus is really black history. So Christ's feet look as if like as if what? As if they're burned in a furnace. So Jesus' feet look like if it was burned in a furnace. If you burn something, of what color it becomes, brother? If you burn a price, what color it becomes? If you burn, if you burn, if you burn, what color it looks like? Red looks like burn. You can burn. Go ahead. Okay. You take fire, or you take paper, you burn it. What color it becomes? What does it look like? The crowd! The crowd! The crowd! The crowd! The crowd! The Right, so if you take that fish, you burn it. So you burn it up and it burns. And you're like, yo, you can't eat that because it's burnt. What color do you think it looks like? Black. 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 Right. So what color was Christ according to the Bible? Black. black. So Christ was a black man according to the Bible. Like That's you. right. So Christ looked like you. So what if Christ looked like you? What does that mean? That you are descended from those of the book. That's right. So you are from a great person, brother. You are related to great people. Let me show you who you are. Give me the room. Let me show you how special you are according to the Bible. We're going to show you how special you are according to the Bible. I'm going to ask you a question. You can ask me anything. Alright, beautiful. So what, let me ask you for one question first. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Where do you fit in the Bible? I'm a Barbadian. I love, I, I, I believe in Christ. I don't believe in, All right. in beautiful. religion. So you believe in Christ. Beautiful, I'm glad you say that. So what does Christ look like according to the Bible? He looks like me. Alright, come let me show you this. So I didn't have the time. Well, you're the reading Bible, right? I'm from the higher learning boss. Well, guess what? The higher learning will tell you this, that Christ was a black man according to the Bible. Christ was a man of color. Christ hailed from the tribe of Judah. So let me show you one scripture. Let me show I you two scriptures. I oh, no, you can, time. You can just move slowly because you'll hear it. <laughs> Hebrews 7 verse 14. <laughs> Hebrews. Chapter 7 of verse 14. Walk slow so you can hear it, my brother. For it, is, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The Bible said Christ came out of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> Jeremiah 42. What does Judah look like? What does Judah look like? So many of us have higher learning as we call it. But the learning that we have learned is so high that we was not we were able to miss all the good stuff that was at the middle. Because Jeremiah, the topping got nothing covered. Read. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah morning. Judah's a morning. And the gates thereof. Language. And the gates along with my sister. We want to ask you a question. What's your biblical nationality according to the Bible? Read. They are black unto the ground. The Bible says they are what? They are black unto the ground. So real higher knowledge should tell us God is superior to higher knowledge. So God said that Judah is dark as the ground. Judah is dark as the ground. So we're going to go now to deal with some laws that our people violate. Our people violate some of these laws. We stand next to a business. No disrespect to the business, I'm just going to go into some laws that God is going to give us. So no disrespect to the establishment. Exodus 20 verse 8. Bring it out! Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. So God is saying, remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day. 
Read to keep it holy. To keep it holy. We don't. Six days shall go labor. So God is saying to all of us here, six days we should have been laboring. Because God said there's seven days in a week. But six days you have to labor so you can have money to take care of yourself and your family. And to give to build up your nation. So six days we should labor and do all our work. We don't. And do all thy work. We don't. But the seventh day. But the what? But the seventh day. So the seventh day, God said, but the seventh day. And we all know what is the seventh day. What is the seventh day, sister? Which day? The week of rest, the day of rest. So is today that day or is it tomorrow? Interpretation. So guess, you have a calendar at home, sister? You have a calendar at home? So which day do your calendar say is the seventh day? Today, right? I hear, I hear. Right, there's two S. There's a first S on the calendar and another S at the end of the calendar. So can anybody tell me what does that two S mean? The first one. Is it Saturday or is it Sunday? It is called Sunday. So the first day of the week is Sunday. That's right. Sunday have always been the first day of the week. That is why when Friday comes, I can't wait for the week to end. I get paid, it's weekend, I can enjoy myself. I gotta come to oysters and buy some fish. I gotta come to oysters by the night and come because it's weekend. So God is saying that the Sabbath is the seventh day of the week. So today is the seventh day according to the Bible. Not according to me. According to the Bible. Read on. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community.